Hi, this is a very short video which is going to show you how you can use a Mavic Mini to mark your property line on a very uneven surface. At the very end of this line here, you see two rectangular white. Those are uh, pieces of styrofoam, and those are marking the um, you see the arrow is going from one to the other. The those are marking the stakes in the ground. And you could find the stakes in the ground either using a cell phone app, which I did, or a metal detector if you have it. Um, the, the one on the right where the arrow is pointing now is, is down a hill. And when you're standing there, you really can't see where the other uh, marker could be. Uh, you'll see here in a moment, they're almost there. Uh, here I'm standing behind the marker and the styrofoam uh, board looking toward toward the house and the other marker. You see that you really can't see anything. I'm looking in the direction of the red arrow. So what you do is you, you and then what I also did, uh, besides putting those two, those two pieces of foam down at the property markers, I put two boards which you could barely see. They're, 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 in the, they nailed them into the ground. You see the yellow arrow going from one to the other. I nailed them into the ground, and they have one inch, one foot uh, lines on them. They're actually exactly four feet long. And um, and here's a, a zooming in. You can see the two boards nailed into the ground. And what I did was. Uh, you print out this picture here and you can calculate where the this line well first of all let me go back you draw this line using some kind of software that you have uh, and I drew it using PowerPoint I took the, this photograph pulled it into PowerPoint and I measured the, the distance above the line and below the line. And above the line was six and a half millimeters and below the line eight and a half. So the total length of the line is 15 millimeters. So then you use this formula shown here. Eight and a half divided by 15 times 48, which is the total length of the board, equals 27 inches. So then I mark the board where 21 inches from, 27 inches from the bottom, and that's the property line. So I did both of these Boards. I marked both of these boards and then put stakes in the ground. So we're, uh, we have these two markers in the ground here. We're going to plant three trees between them on my side of the property, obviously. But I wanted to know where the property line was so that I would allow room for growth. And uh, I didn't imp in, in, uh, impinge on my, uh, my neighbor's property. I don't want uh, didn't have to worry about that. So you, as you can see... Uh, I would have really very little idea where the property line was had I not been able to use this technique. So um, if you have any questions, uh, you know, holler back at me and I'll try to answer them. Uh, you need to know where the property markers are for this to work. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>